rise of AI has left us designers questioning our future. But is the hype surrounding it justified? To find out, I'll be designing a brand while using ChatGPT to provide creative direction and guide me on design decisions like fonts, colors, and more. So the question is, will it make graphic designers as useless as an underwater hairdryer? Let's find out. First, we need a brief. Now we have the brief, here's everything you need to know in under 15 seconds. The business is called The Adventure Co and they offer immersive outdoor travel experiences. Their target audience is outdoor enthusiasts, particularly millennials and Gen Z. The logo needs to be modern, the colors natural and the design responsive. By the way, this is a super handy way to get briefs for your own passion projects. So there's just one thing I need to do before we start designing and that is detective work. I've noticed a pattern. The brand's competitors all have a clean and professional style. I'll keep this in mind as we move on to the next stage. I've just put together a mood board using the recommendations chat GPT provided in the brief. And now I'm moving on to a stage that as a designer normally takes me hours, and that's sourcing a font. Let's see if AI can help cut that time down. So here's the suggestions ChatGPT gave us. A brush script, a cursive font, a sans serif font, and a display font with a rugged feel. So I'm thinking a mix of a brush script and possibly a rugged display font so that we can play into that rural aesthetic nicely. Let's go find a font. Okay, I found a script typeface that I like on Invata Elements, the sponsor of today's video. So now I'm just gonna head over to Adobe Illustrator to see how the business's name looks in this font. And I can already see that I really like the italicized look as it gives off a nice movement. But I think we've got a layout issue. So with the business's name being super long, it needs breaking up. So I'm gonna move V above adventure and then pop Co below. There we go, that just sits so much better. Okay, but now we've got a hierarchy issue. So the words are the same size and it's hard to know what to read first. So I want adventure to be the main focus. So I'm gonna make the and co smaller and then change them to a sans serif font. And I think that should do the trick. You fix one problem, but cause another. Life of a designer, eh? So co now looks completely lost on its own. So let's move this over to the right and give it a cozy spot at the end of adventure. And then to tie this together, let's add an outer path and use the pathfinder to subtract it. I now think we could make the word the look a little less isolated. So let's add a box behind it, a circle either side, and a slight curve to mimic a plaque at campsites. There is still something about this logo type that just does not feel balanced. I think it might be the A in adventure. So I'm gonna capitalize this. And I think that is the added missing piece. Now, because we moved Co over to the right, it made the logo feel unbalanced, but adding a capital letter has completely solved this. So the logo type is now done, but these aren't always the most versatile logo variation. And in the brief ChatGPT provided, it emphasized the importance of the design being adaptable for use on different mediums. Meaning we need to make an icon. Time to ask ChatGPT for some direction on this. Now, they've given us a whole lot of ideas Ideas, but at first glance, a lot of them look far too generic. I do have to choose one though, so let's start the elimination process and say bye to the mountain, tent, sunrise, bird, compass, and the tree. And now we're down to two, a hiking boot or binoculars. Now I'm kind of leaning towards the binoculars as they give me a little bit more excitement and it links nicely to discovering new adventures. So let's work with that.
So I've been thinking to make sure our icon is versatile and adaptable for various spaces, I'm going to create a second logo variation. So let's grab a rectangle tool and I'm going to change this into an arch behind the binoculars. I kind of want this to represent a sunrise that everyone's going to see on their adventure. And then it now means I can position some text perfectly around this. So I'm going to grab the type on a path tool and then we're going to write the tagline, which is explore the great outdoors as well as the business name. Now, the only thing that I think we need to do is make the binoculars stand out a little more. So I'm going to copy and paste the original arch. I'm going to add this into the middle, change the size and the color. And now we have our second variation. And now it's time to add some color. So back to ChatGBT we go. Here are the suggestions. I guess you can't go wrong if you list every color, but us designers aren't afraid of a little experimentation, so let's test them out. But before we do, I'm heading over to Envato Elements to grab some mock-ups so we can test these colors out on something that relates to the brand. They have over 40,000 to choose from, so it shouldn't be too hard to find something. After a bit of tinkering, I think we've got it, but you can be the judge of that. Meet the Adventure Co. Now in this video, you've seen how ChatGPT would design a brand, but if you wanna see the difference between AI and an actual designer, then you need to watch this video here where I redesign a peanut butter brand in just five minutes.